Hippocrates is constantly saying that fruit feeds yeast, mold, fungus, candida, and cancer. Um, no one else seems to say that, although Dale Bredesen a little bit was saying to avoid sugar and um, the, the guy from Boston College, um, uh, that doctor was also, uh, Dr. Seyfried was saying that for cancer to, I don't know, be low in fruit. So there are some people saying that there's a problem with fruit. Um, you recommend berries. How should we think about fruit? Is this something that we should be concerned or do you feel like it's a healthy thing? No, it's a healthy thing. It's a healthy enough variety. I think if we go back to the literature and we pull out the science on fruit and cancer, and that's where berries is in, uh, obviously, we will see that certain fruits have very powerful effects to prevent cancer and have anti-diabetic effects and anti-yeast and mold effects, not pro-yeast and mold effects. So we've got to look at the science here. And if we look at the wheel study, the Women's Healthy Eating and Living study, true, it showed vegetables had the most protection against cancer, but women who ate lots of vegetables with fruit have longer lifespans and lower risk of cancer than people who ate vegetables without the fruit. So all the studies seem to show that as we design a diet, that fiber and micronutrient diversity and food diversity plays a role in extending human lifespan. And I say to people that we can beat the blue zones by far because we have this unprecedented opportunity in human history to eat a wide variety of foods, including a wide variety of organic fruits. Now, that doesn't mean I'm saying make your diet mostly fruit. I agree if your diet is poor and your diet is mostly fruit, there, you, know, you can have some problems, but I don't think it's, I don't really agree with that because who, because that's another problem. Maybe on a raw food diet, when you're not getting any calories from cooked vegetables or, or grains, and you're getting so many calories from fruit, then you have to pay attention to not overeating with fruit and really make an effort to eat more sprouted beans and, and, and vegetables to make sure your diet isn't overly, isn't excessive in fruit. But when you're eating a, what I call a nutritarian diet, where we're eating from all the different categories of food, and we're still trying to consume a lot of raw food, by the way, and we're still eating between one to two fruits with a full meal, which means we're eating three to six fruits a day, right? And we want like, when we, like for breakfast, we want most of our, we want to have a lot of berries, cherries, pomegranates, kumquats, loquats. We, these fruits we know have powerful protection against cancer. And we have studies to demonstrate that. We have, so they're, particularly berries are incredibly powerful and cherries for that matter. So the answer to your question is, we shouldn't be afraid of eating fruit, but we should, make sure that we don't make our diet mostly fruit. It should be a one of, it should be a, a minor, a, a smaller part of the pie and your diet should not be fruit based, right? And, and neither should your diet be grain based, by the way. Your diet should, I'm recommending, neither should your diet be nut based. Your diet should be vegetable based. I'm advocating for a vegetable based diet with some fruit and nuts and beans and whole grains, right? Where, but it should be vegetable based. And when you do that, you don't have to worry about eating some fruit. And that's, and I think that the radicalness of eating a diet that's all raw and telling people to avoid fruit is, um, is too extreme. And you're certainly, and it makes it impossible to follow a diet like that anyway. And I don't think it's necessary.